guys, Llama here. Um, wanted to bring it to you as soon as I got it. It's mystery tackle box time. Uh, remember, I've been sticking with the Pro. Started it last month, did it again this month. So it's the mystery tackle box Pro Trout and Panfish. Let's get going. So here we go. The What's Inside card. We have the Liquid Mayhem Fish Attractant, the Guggen Squad Mini Recon. Man, this thing's loaded. Um, Carl's Amazing Baits Whippersnapper, Northland Tackle Mimic Minnow Limber Leech, the Swiss X Supreme Spinner, the Euro Tackle Gamma Scud, Owl's Goldfish Water Witch, and Carl's Amazing Baits Paddle Grub. So let's get started. The uh, the fish attractant kind of right out of the gates, guys. This is what it is. It's actual tube of leech scent fish attractant. Um, I've never really fished with leech scent. Uh, it says it's uh, made with real bait in a super concentrated form. Contains natural bait fish enzymes infused with powerful amino acids and other bite stimulants designed to target the fish's olfactory glands and trigger bigger strikes. Um, man, I've never tried this, so I'm assuming this will go really well with the uh, limber leech or any other bait. I'll be interested to try that one. Uh, Alright, I'm a fan of Guggen, so I'm excited for this one. So what you have here is this guy. I don't know if you guys can see that. The Guggen Squad Mini Recon. He's uh, purple and chartreuse, black, sparkles, he's vivid. That's why I like the Guggen, the Guggen Squad stuff is it's very bright and stands out a lot. So this is a diver. It goes three to six feet, quarter ounce, two inches. It's a, I'm excited for this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out on a boat and try it. Uh, it's a little tougher from the shore around here to get out far enough to get them. Uh, cutthroats right now though, they're really they're feeding close to shore. It's strawberry. I'll probably end up taking this out there and trying it there. Um, Carl's Amazing Baits Whippersnapper. Let's see here. That would be this guy here. If you guys can see that. A little blue and pink action, some orange and yellow. Uh, he's a one to four foot diver. He's lightweight. He's small. He's plastic see-through too. I don't know if he rattles and makes noise, but that one's definitely something that's interesting to me as well. Now this is the uh, Minic, what is it? Northland Timber, oh, Northland Tackle Mimic Minnow Limber Leech. These are one 32 ounce jig head leeches that would definitely be a panfish dream, but I could probably pull this off with trout and bass as well. So that's kind of interesting there. Uh, all right, this one here would be the Swiss X Supreme Spinner. It's a very bright and vivid, or vivid, not vivid, vivid, size aught, one tenth ounce spinner. He's got black on the back, a little bead in there. To act, I This is a trout killer. I can tell you that right now. I'm uh, pretty excited to try this. Trust me, if we had some uh, a more of a heavier pike place around here, there's one down south I can go. I might actually take him out too, but I think this one will get some, some trout action here. The Euro Tackle Gamma Scud. Scuds to me are 100% panfish, so this is panfish. I don't even know if you can see those right there. They're very clear, see-through, uh, tiny, very tiny scuds. Uh, man, I could, this, this one is a micro finesse as well, so a definite panfish there. The Owl's Water Witch, this says goldfish, that's more of a silverfish to me. Uh, definite spoon type action, they say it attracts trout, salmon, walleye, bass, crappie, and other panfish. We'll be definitely trying that one out. And then the, the Paddle Grub, seeing these here that's what it is I don't know if you guys can see that there 
the cool part about this one is is going to be the color. So it's the hatch time around here. We got a lot of black bugs going on, so a lot of the fly fishermen are going that route. Um, I'm gonna see if you can see this even more here. There's that guy right there. So I like that. I think bouncing him along the bottom or getting him into the river will help a lot. Even using him as a jig on some of the lakes, I could probably get some um, definite, some top water action out of that. Uh, with that and then kind of my favorite is I'm a catch co kind of guy as far as the stickers go looks like they wanted to throw in some throwbacks I'll probably end up using putting these two on the rogue right now if you guys saw my Nissan rogue it's a catch co sticker of Bonanza you would know it's mine uh, out there definitely excited for this now uh, what I did last last month's box I didn't go out and try to slam I did attempt it uh, but it was miserable. It didn't even it got to the point it wasn't even good film. I didn't even attempt to record it. Uh, I do have a local pond here. Uh, I just found it actually. It, it's new. It's been out for about a year. It's in an area I didn't know about. It has bass, largemouth, uh, bluegill, sunfish, uh, trout's in it. It, it. So I could actually attempt to slam there with this. I don't know how it is. Never been there. Um, I'll definitely try that. But I took some of the stuff out of last month's box. box. I took the uh, the June bug uh, paddle grub with me. I had a uh, the whirly bird. I don't know if you guys remember that. I had the pink jig head, the whirly bird prop on it. And I went on a hike last week um, with Mama Llama. We went up to uh, Lake Blanche in Big Cottonwood Canyon. Uh, there's Lake Blanche, Lake Lillian, and Lake Florian, I think, are the three lakes next to each other. They all have brookies in there. Um, I don't take my GoPro with me on the hikes. Mama Llama didn't like it, but after this this last hike, she told me I could. So it's pretty cool. Threw every spinner I could, any jerk bait I could, even threw some of the the mystery tackle box stuff, and they just weren't hitting spinners and jerk baits or any of that stuff. Um, so I popped on this June bug with the Whirly Bird and threw it out there, and the Brookies would not leave it alone. It was an amazing day. It was fun to catch them. They're beautiful, bright orange, the spots and everything. It was really, really cool. So um, my Sunday hikes, which is where the llama name comes from. I love the fish. That's my Saturday. My Sunday, go out with Mama Llama. We do some hiking uh, all over all over the state. So um, if we do target a high Uinta lake or any of the lakes, I'm now going to be taking my GoPro with me and hopefully getting more, more film that way. So go ahead and like and subscribe this, guys. If you want to try out the Mystery Tackle Box and never have, go ahead in the description here and click on that link and uh, go visit Mystery Tackle Box, sign up. You get, uh, from that link, you'll save $10 on your first box. So your, 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 uh, your first Pro Tackle Box would cost you about 20 bucks if you do that. Uh, it's, it's month to month. You can cancel it at any time, but definitely, guys, I would try that out, see what you can get. Ice fishing's coming up. I'm hoping that there's some stuff dedicated towards that. Um, also, do me a big favor. Go ahead and comment below which one of these you guys seen today interests you the most, and then I'll try to do something to focus on that and try to get out there and use it. Uh, again, guys, like, subscribe, tight lines. Mm -hmm.